You want to know what's all corrupted? When they say, follow your dream. Follow your dream. Do what makes you happy. You could be whatever you want to be, son. Whatever makes you happy. Now, the thing is, people do have dreams. We all have dreams. But are we accomplishing those dreams? Some of us might be, but it's very rare. Making lots of money is not considered a dream. I mean, it's good you're making lots of money, but whatever that person's job that might be that's making him a lot of money may not be his actual dream. He's probably just doing it because he has no choice. He's got to try to make ends meet. We all have goals in life. We all have things that make us happy. But between that, there's always something in the way of that getting into the way, making us unhappy, making us miserable. Parents, for example, tell you to do this, do that. But deep down, you know you don't want to do it. How I look at it as, you should be able to do what you want to do. It's your life. It's you. You're you. Strive what makes you happy. If this certain activity, whatever it might be, makes you happy, then that's really the goal in life. Instead, all we see as a goal in life is how to make money, how to survive. I mean, truly, that's not our real actual goal. That's just a goal manipulating us into this corrupt system. Telling us, feeding us lies, saying that it's a goal. When really, it's not your true goal. Because your true goal hasn't happened. This so goal is getting in the way of what your real actual goal might be. People pressure you into doing things like, for example, parents say, oh, you should be a chiropractor, let's just say, or a nurse or whatever. But what if the person's goal ain't that? What if the person's goal is something else? Oh, you don't want to do that. That's stupid. The key to life is doing what makes you happy. And that's the problem we're not we're not following. We're not doing what makes us happy. We're just doing what we can to try to survive. And I don't see a life in that. I don't see no joy in that. Unless you're actually enjoying it, it's one thing, but I don't know how you could. Life has no true meaning. You make the meaning. Because the truth is, nothing really matters. The only thing that really matters is you being happy and when you're not happy if you're not doing something that makes you happy it's meaningless now even if you are happy at something life is still meaningless no matter what but at least you're happy that's one good thing at least you know but doing something that you don't want to do knowing it's meaningless then i'd rather do something i want to do even though it's meaningless at least I'm doing something that makes me happy on my limited time on this planet. You know what I'm saying? Because the truth is, nothing really matters. Nothing matters. It doesn't matter if you live your whole life. It doesn't matter if your life ends shortly. It's not going to make a difference. Nothing's going to change. Life is still going to be life. Whether you're here or not here, life is still going to be life. So what's a re really truly matter is doing something that makes you happy, whatever it might be. Not something being pressured by the system, by your parents, by friends or whoever. That's all it's all about, competing with each other. Oh, my, my son, uh, no, he, 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 he's a billionaire, man. He has business. Uh, he, oh, yeah. Well, you know, my daughter, daughter like. It's like it's all about competing. It's all greed and disgusting shit. Meanwhile, who knows if that person's really happy doing it. It's not really their dream, let's say. It's not their goal. It's their parents' goal. When you should be in charge of your own goal. Because it's your life. But instead, it's like the parents are using you as bait. To become something you may or may not want to be. But whether you do or don't, they don't want to hear it, you know. They just want to brag to other people because that's their goal. 
ruining your goal for their goal. That's how I would, you know, put it as. It's like you want to know something else funny. People say, you know, if there's no money, how are we going to get food? How are we going to get things done? Think of it like this. We should be doing these things not for pay, but we should be doing these things to truly survive. Think of it like this. We're doing all this hard work to make money so we can survive, right? Because you need money for food. You practically need money for everything. Just to have this camera rolling right now. <laughs> so think of it like that. You know you don't like what you're doing, but you're doing it because you got to make money. So why can't we just do this stuff to just survive? Not mattering about money. Not mattering who has more money than who or who has less money than who. But to get all this stuff done for true survival. Does that make sense? I see it does. Because think of it like this. We're busting our asses, you know, for money. That's all we see for survival, right? But why can't we just do what we're doing, not for money, but to get these things done for the sake of humanity to survive? Why is a piece of paper getting involved in this? That's the part that makes no sense. Because, hey, I understand things got to get done. Roads got to be fixed, as you can see. Still looking like shit, if not worse. But why are we doing everything just for money instead of doing all of this for true survival of humanity? Working as a team, uniting as a team, helping one another out. Someone's ill, help them out. Cares if they have insurance or don't. So the person doesn't have insurance, you're going to let them just friggin' rot because he doesn't have this rectangular stuff? That's the part I just don't see. It makes no fucking sense. That's the thing people say. How, how are we going to... Think of it. If there's no money, how are we going to get things done? No one's going to want to work. Right. No one wants to work. But they are working because they know they need money to survive. So what if we have that same method, but instead of for money, for the sake of humanity, helping one another out, helping someone out, getting things done not to be richer than someone, but to help people out, including yourself, them, everyone. Everyone being treated with respect. No one should think, oh, I'm better than that person. I have more money than him. He's a bum, yo. He, yo, he don't have a pot to piss in. That's the thing. We don't help each other out. All we're doing it is for money. Fuck that person. I don't care. As long as I'm getting this or whatever, that, that, that's, all that, that's all that we see in our eyes. It's the root of all evil. It's sad. We don't care about each other. We have no respect for each other. We don't treat each other with respect. We just value what we have. Ooh, that person has a no, man. He must be making money, man. Meanwhile, we could all have nice things if we work together and accomplish things. Instead of only doing what we're doing just for money. We could all be evenly happy. We could all have a happy life. But we just choose not to. Because I'm richer than you, so I'm a happier person. I, you, you can't afford three bedrooms or five. Oh, you know, We could all have a good life. We can all have a simple, basic, peaceful life temporarily while we're here. But we just choose not to. Instead, greed takes over. And greed has won. Because we allowed it to win. Peace out, everybody. Peace out. Seriously, though. Peace out.